Crime, the economy, the restructuring of Petrotrin, and the decriminalization of marijuana were among the topics discussed on Sunday evening during a one-on-one -on -one interview with Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. Crystal Wilson tells us the Prime Minister stood by his government's decision to spearhead the restoration of historical sites throughout the country and hailed the demonetization process of the old $100 bill as a huge success. With elections constitutionally due this year, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley is asking citizens to judge his government fairly. In a one-on-one -on -one interview at the office of the Prime Minister, Dr. Rowley said while his government has not made significant progress in addressing crime, the entire country has underestimated the task to do so. 2019 ended with murders at 538. And while his government has been unable to decrease murders, Dr. Rowley said there are other things his government was successful at. It would not um, be fair to the government to be measured by this situation which didn't arise overnight and it's not a feature of this administration. It's not a feature of Trinidad and Tobago. Crime and criminality as a a responsibility of the government of Trinidad and Tobago, governments of the Caribbean and I dare say wider field, is going to remain a major focus. And while citizens complained of the inconvenience during the change over to the new $100 note, Dr. Rowley said the demonetization process placed the country in a better position to treat with white-collar crime. The exercise was worth it, it was necessary, and that we are now in a much better position to treat with elements of white collar crime, to treat with elements of general criminality across the country, and of course, as a matter of national security and uh, yeah. other considerations, that the currency of Trinidad and Tobago is now playing a better part than it was playing, um, let's say, a month ago. On December 23, 2019, the Dangerous Drugs Act officially became law, allowing adults to have in their possession up to 30 grams of marijuana. Admitting that he has never smoked marijuana, Dr. Rowley issued an appeal to younger members of the population. I want to appeal particularly to our young people, especially those uh, easily influenced at the high school level, that marijuana smoking is not to be recommended. It is classified for good reason under the heading of dangerous drug. The Prime Minister also said government will seek to complete the restoration of heritage sites throughout the country as the buildings are priceless and should not be left in a state of disrepair. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.